In a world where the boundaries of reality are drawn not by walls, but by numbers, one mind dared to redraw the map. From the ruins of an old city rose a thinker who would bend the language of mathematics itself to see what no one else could see. He bridged two worlds, numbers that could not meet, ideas that defied logic, and in doing so, he changed the course of modern mathematics. This is not a story of fame or fortune, but of clarity, of a man who redefined infinity and taught the world that even the most abstract ideas can reshape reality. Peter Schulzer was born on December 15, 1987, in Dresden, Germany, a city steeped in history, culture, and intellectual tradition. His parents nurtured a household that valued curiosity and learning. While details of their professions are modestly noted, they were both supportive of their son's early interests, fostering an environment where questions were encouraged and exploration was celebrated. In Dresden, Schulze grew up surrounded by books, puzzles, and the quiet rhythms of a city still rebuilding from its historical past, a setting that would quietly shape his analytical mind. From the earliest years, Schulze displayed an extraordinary fascination with mathematics. Stories from his childhood recount a boy who would spend hours immersed in numerical patterns, solving puzzles that left adults astonished. At just 10, he had already begun independently tackling problems far beyond the standard school curriculum, demonstrating not just speed but an uncanny depth of insight. Friends and teachers would later recall how he approached math as a landscape of ideas rather than a set of rules, a mindset that would define his entire career. By the time he reached school age, Schultz's talent was impossible to ignore. At Dresden schools, he excelled in mathematics competitions, quickly ascending the ranks of the International Mathematical Olympiad, IMO. In 2004, at only 16, he won a silver medal, and the following year, he earned a gold medal, a clear signal to the international mathematical community that a prodigy had emerged. Even in a structured classroom, Schultz's mind sought abstraction. He was not content merely to follow formulas or replicate methods. He wanted to understand the underlying principles to probe the why behind the mathematics. Teachers recall moments when he would pose questions that challenged the limits of their own knowledge, prompting discussions far beyond the regular curriculum. It was in these formative experiences that Schultz honed independent thinking, logical reasoning and abstract insight, skills that would later become the hallmarks of his research in arithmetic geometry. Outside competitions and formal schooling, Schultze was a voracious learner. He explored advanced topics like number theory, algebra and geometry, often drawing connections between seemingly unrelated areas. His notebooks from those years, filled with intricate calculations and exploratory ideas, offer a glimpse of a mind both playful and disciplined, always probing the edges of understanding. From a curious child solving complex math problems on his own, Peter Schultze was destined to redefine the landscape of modern arithmetic geometry. After a childhood marked by extraordinary mathematical curiosity, Peter Schultze stepped into the world of higher education with a clear sense of purpose. In 2006, he enrolled at the University of Bonn, one of Germany's premier institutions for mathematics. Schultze approached his undergraduate studies with the same intensity and precision that had defined his early years, completing his bachelor's and master's degrees in record time, astonishing professors with his grasp of advanced concepts and his ability to move effortlessly between abstract theory and concrete problem-solving. It was at Bonn that Schultz encountered Michael Rappaport, a leading expert in arithmetic geometry and a mentor who would shape the trajectory of his career. Under Rappaport's guidance, Schultz embarked on a doctoral journey that would forever alter the field of mathematics. 
By 2012, he had completed his PhD, presenting a dissertation that tackled the intricate problems of weight monodromy in p-adic geometry. His work was remarkable not only for its technical mastery, but for its visionary scope, addressing questions that had puzzled mathematicians for decades and opening new avenues of research in a rapidly evolving field. Early on, Schultze demonstrated a knack for transforming complex, abstract problems into elegant, manageable solutions. Where others saw intractable barriers, he saw patterns, connections and pathways forward. One mentor noted that Schultze had the ability to see the geometry hidden within algebra, the logic hidden within complexity, a gift that set him apart even among the brightest students in Bond's esteemed mathematics program. By the early 2000s, Peter Schultze had already established himself as a formidable talent in arithmetic geometry. Yet what would define his career and transform the field was his creation of perfectoid spaces, a concept so groundbreaking that it would reverberate across mathematics worldwide. At its heart, a perfectoid space is a new type of geometric structure that allows mathematicians to translate problems between characteristic zero and characteristic p, two fundamentally different settings in number theory. This tilting idea, as Schultze called it, provided an elegant bridge that simplified previously intractable problems and illuminated hidden connections. To imagine it visually, one could picture towers of p-adic rings, each layer a version of the space under a different lens, and the tilt as a mirror that reflects one complex structure into another, preserving deep relationships while making calculations more tractable. The first public revelation of this work came in 2011 when Schultze posted his landmark Archiv preprint Perfectoid Spaces. In it, he not only introduced the foundational definitions but demonstrated striking applications, resolving questions in p-adic Hodge theory, clarifying the weight monodromy conjecture and providing simpler proofs for results that had long resisted elegance. Within months, mathematicians around the globe recognized that Schultz's methods were not merely incremental improvements, they were transformative. The mathematical community responded with a mix of admiration and excitement. Leading researchers, initially cautious of the technical complexity, soon realized that perfectoid spaces offered a powerful toolkit, enabling entirely new approaches to old problems. Collaborations began to form, seminars sprouted, and reading groups emerged to grapple with the ideas, marking the start of a new research era. Scholzer himself remained modest, yet his insights quickly catalyzed work by numerous co-authors, spawning developments in diamonds, V-sheaves, and prismatic cohomology. With perfectoid spaces, Scholzer didn't just solve problems, he opened entirely new worlds in arithmetic geometry. By 2011, Peter Schultz's revolutionary work on perfectoid spaces had begun attracting international attention. That same year, he was named a Clay Research Fellow, a prestigious position that allowed him the freedom to pursue bold foundational research. Just a year later, in 2012, at the remarkably young age of 24, Schultz was appointed full professor at the University of Bonn, a rare distinction for someone so early in their career. His appointment signaled to the world that a new star in mathematics had arrived. Schultz's influence was not confined to Bonn. He frequently held visiting appointments, including the role of Chancellor's Professor at UC Berkeley, and delivered lecture series that drew both students and established researchers eager to witness his clarity and depth. His presence at seminars and conferences sparked collaborations that transcended borders, forming a global network of mathematicians united by the challenge and beauty of perfectoid spaces. Recognition of Schultz's brilliance came in the form of numerous major awards. In 2018, he received the Fields Medal, the highest honor in mathematics, for his transformative contributions to arithmetic geometry. He had already been awarded the Leibniz Prize, the Ostrowski Prize, and several other distinctions, each reflecting a combination of technical mastery, visionary insight, and the ability to inspire the mathematical community. Equally important was his role as a mentor and teacher. 
Schultzer guided PhD students, postdoctoral researchers, and younger colleagues with patience and intellectual rigor. His seminars were famous for blending deep technical content with conceptual clarity, allowing students to engage with cutting-edge research while developing independent insight. Many of those he mentored have gone on to establish their own research programs, spreading the influence of his ideas across the globe. Through interviews, public lectures and written profiles, Schultzer became a rare figure who could communicate the beauty of abstract mathematics to a wider audience. Major outlets such as Wired, Quanta Magazine and Institutional Features highlighted not only his groundbreaking work, but also his ability to explain complex ideas with clarity, precision and humility. Schultz's lecture series, including those at UC Berkeley and CIRM Lumini, have been widely shared and studied. In these talks, he guides audiences through dense concepts, carefully building intuition before delving into technical detail. Students, postdocs, and even fellow researchers have praised his pedagogical style. He makes the intricate seem accessible without ever diluting the intellectual rigor of the subject. Even amidst the most abstract equations, Schultz's voice carried clarity, making the intricate world of mathematics approachable for all.